Samuel. Yes, Lord. I repent of having made Saul king, for he has turned his back on me and has not obeyed my commands. Samuel, the Lord's blessing upon you. Surely you've heard by now how I obeyed the Lord's command. The Amalekites don't exist anymore. There is no such nation. What then is this bleating of sheep in my ears? Why do I hear the lowing of cattle? The people have taken them from the Amalekites. These are what they spared, the best of the sheep and cattle to sacrifice to the Lord your God. The rest we completely silence. Let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Tell me, there was a time when you thought little of yourself. Now I see that you've raised a monument to your greatness at Carmel. A monument to the victory of the Lord! Was it? It was your name I heard on every man's lips, not the Lord's. Once you were humble, but now you're head of the tribes of Israel. You're so fine. So important, so great, that you forget that the Lord anointed you king. I'll never forget that. The Lord sent you with strict instructions to destroy the Amalekites. You were to fight against them until you had wiped them out. Why did you not obey the Lord? Why did you keep the best of the spoils and disobey the Lord. But I did obey. I went where the Lord sent me, and I killed those the Lord sent me to kill. I only brought back King Agag to show the people so they could see their tormentor before I have him killed. The animals we brought back to sacrifice so we could celebrate the Lord's victory. They will all end up dead, just as the Lord commanded. Do you think I am a fool? Do you think the Lord doesn't see your heart? By bringing them back here, you used King Agag and the beasts of the Amalekites to raise yourself higher in the eyes of Israel. Now, if you kill them, you won't be doing it in obedience to the Lord. You'll be doing it for your own benefit. I brought them to sacrifice, Samuel. Does the Lord desire offerings and sacrifices as he desires obedience? Obedience is better than sacrifice, and to listen to the Lord is better than the fat of rams. Defiance of the Lord is as sinful as witchcraft. Yielding to the desires of men is as evil as idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, the Lord has rejected you as king. I have sinned, Samuel. I see that now. I let my own judgment lead me away from following the Lord's commands and your orders. I wanted to please my people. But now, forgive my sin. I implore you, and come back with me, and I will make my submission before the Lord. I will not come back with you. You have rejected the word of the Lord, and therefore the Lord has rejected you as king over Israel. Don't, 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 don't go, don't. Get go of my cloak! The Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from your hand today. And we'll give it to another, a better man than you. You told me once the Lord might forgive me. God, who is the splendor of Israel, does not go back on his word. He is not a man who changes his mind often. I have sinned. But honor me this once before the elders of my people and before Israel. Come back with me, and I will make my submission to the Lord. Even if the Lord doesn't forgive me, let the people see that I honor him, that I'm not in rebellion against the Lord. I ask you not as a king asks a priest, but as a man asks his truest friend. <sighs> I'll come back with you.